What's going on everybody? It's David from Big Bone Bulldogs. Today I'm gonna to go over the Frenchie standard colors and the DNA that's associated with it. I'm not gonna to get too complicated or too scientific with it. I'm gonna make this real simple for you. So if you're a prospective buyer or you're a new breeder or you just want some better understanding on the Frenchie colors and how to read DNA, hopefully this video will help you. Let's start by talking about the fawns, like pecan pie here. Fawns are represented by the A locus. It's gonna be A-Y. You can have an A-Y-A-Y, A-Y-A-T, or A-Y-A. These will all be fawn dogs. Pecan Pie here has a black mask and she's actually a fawn sable, but we'll get into that in some of my later videos. Today, I'm gonna to keep it more simple and stick to the standard colors. Then you're gonna have your black dogs. Your black dogs are represented by the K-Locus. Then you're gonna have brindles. Brindles are also represented by the K-Locus. You'll see KB or KBR sometimes to represent Brindle. Then you have your cream dogs. Your cream dogs are represented by the E locus. And then you have your pie dogs. Pie dogs are on the S locus. The black dogs, I pretty much, the easiest way I can explain black is to think about it as a blank sheet of paper with Frenchies. So if they don't have any other color of carry blue or chocolate, they're gonna nine times out of 10 be visually black. Your brindles, that's gonna be a lighter and a darker type pattern together that looks like tiger striping. So it'll typically be a lighter coat with darker stripes. And then you have your pied dogs, which pied is gonna be any dog that is more than 50% covered in white. Well, the brindle is a dominant gene. So these genes are harder to play with if you're breeding for specific colors. That's why you'll see no pied, no brindle very often. It's just because breeders tend to stay away from the pied and the brindle when they're trying to create certain colors and they don't want the pied or the brindle to get in the way. But there's no reason to be scared of pied or brindle. They make some of the best structured dogs out there. If you speak to any breeders that have been doing this for a long time, they almost always have some brindle or some pied still in their camps. Pied and brindle get a really bad rap um, just because the new breeders, all they see is no pied, no brindle, no pied, no brindle, no pied, no brindle. So automatically they start to think pied and brindle are bad. Pied and brindle are not bad. Pied and brindle are responsible for some of the best structured dogs out there. There's something that comes along with the pied and the brindle gene that we can't figure out yet. Look at the dogs that are winning these AKC dog shows and stuff. A lot of times it's brindle and pied dogs just because they come with really good structure. And that's why a lot of breeders will keep pied and brindle in their camp so that they can still produce those good structured dogs. So if you're a new breeder and you see the no pied, no brindle thing and you instantly get scared and move on to the next dog, don't let that happen. If there's a dog that you like but it carries pied or brindle, and that's the only thing you don't like, don't let that stop you from getting that dog. As long as you breed it to a non-pied dog, you're not gonna get any pieds. It's only when you breed a pied to a pied that you end up getting pieds. Then you have cream dogs. Cream dogs are represented by the E locus. The thing with cream dogs is cream covers everything. So you can have a blue, chocolate, lilac, Isabella, I don't care what it is, if it has two copies cream, E-E, -E, lowercase E-E, -E, it's gonna cover all your other colors. So you won't see the blue, you won't see the chocolate, you won't see the lilac. All you'll see is a cream covered dog. All right, so let's do a quick recap, everybody. So we went over fawns. Fawns are on the A locus, represented as A-Y. Black is gonna be on the K locus, represented K-Y. Brindle on the K locus, K-B or K-B-R. Cream on the E locus as E, and Pied on the S locus as S. Remember, the fawns, the brindles are all dominant genes where you're only gonna need one allele to express it. Whereas cream, you'll need two alleles, two copies, one from each parent to express the cream color. And when the cream color is expressed, it will cover up all other colors. Blues, cocoa, chocolate, whatever color, the dog was before the two copies of cream won't matter. You're only gonna see a cream coat 
So I hope this helps you out and you have a little better understanding of some of the standard colors now. Make sure you like and subscribe. In my next video, I'll be explaining some of the more fad and exotic colors, the blues, chocolate, cocoa, Isabella's. See you next time.